Welcome back. Now we are going to see how to create a supplier user in another way. Ensure that you know, whenever you are sending an invitation, ensure that your web server URL have been configured. We have two profile options, external URL and internal URL. POS, internal URL and external URL. Now, I am in payables. You can go to purchasing super user as well. But the only thing is you should have an access to supplier creation. Go to supplier the standard way. You would have seen the supplier creation video. Call the supplier, anyone supplier you want. I am just calling HP. Go to contact directory. What we are seeing here, it's an another way of creating supplier user. Just click create, contact titles, say some name, John. Okay. Now there is a checkbox called create user for this contract. Any of this checkbox, system will ask you to enter a username. You we have to enter an email ID j com. So we are using as we have said, we are using dummy email ID, even though we have disabled the notification mailer, we don't want to have any uh, yeah, email related issue, just an additional measure safety measure we are just using test wherever possible now once you enable this the username system will copy the email address here now rest of the things are as usual you can select the supplier with the responsibilities just I want to give a SS high supplier portable access and the same access restrictions will apply whether he has to access all the sites, this is a player, all the sites and all the contacts or you want to select a particular contacts and sites. And ensure that <coughs> once you have enabled this, click apply. So what we are going to do is we are going to check the user creation in this admin window and two security attributes will be created for this user as we have seen in the last video go to security user define so now the customer contacts has been created the email id has been created two security attributes procurement and the supplier org id would have been created so now with this we have seen how to invite and how to create a supplier how to register the supplier to access iSupplier portal. Thanks for watching this.